Hello, welcome to another video. So this one is just taking limits. As x approaches zero of two sine squared three x over seven x squared. Now this is supposed to be a two or three line problem. For some people, it might be a very long problem because they just don't know what to do with this. So whenever you see a function like this and you're supposed to take a limit, try to recall this because you need it. You have to remember that the limit as x approaches zero of sine kx over kx is always equal to one. If you remember this, that would be easy. You just have to remember that. That the limit as x approaches zero, I just said zero, I didn't write it. Okay, particularly zero. It doesn't work for any other point. It only works as x approaches zero. Okay, as x approaches zero of sine kx, because at that point, it does not matter what k is, k times zero will go towards zero, and this also will go towards zero. So the, the, the short form of that is once you have the limit as x goes towards zero of sine x over x, it will always be one. So they can write it this way or this way. Remember, a sine approaches zero and x approaches zero. If you try and plot the graph, you'll see that that the limit is always one. It doesn't matter what number is multiplying x or what number you have. Okay, so if you remember that, every time you see a problem like this, you wanna see if you can use that rule. Okay, at first glance, you would say, no, you can't, because this is not sine 3x. It is actually sine squared 3x. And this is not 3x or 9x. You can't take the square root of anything. It doesn't look like this is going to work. So what do we do? This is what we do. We're going to create. <laughs> Let's create something. Okay, so I am going to split the sine squared 3x into two separate um, terms. Not separate terms, but separate um, expressions. Watch me. The limit as x approaches zero. Now I'm going to write this as two multiplied by sine three x. Multiplied again by sine three x. Yes, I haven't changed anything. And I'm gonna write the bottom part as, just watch me, seven. I'm gonna write x here and write x here. At this point, I cannot introduce this. I can't use it. I have to make what is here the same as what is here. How do I do that? I just put it there. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean? I just put it there. But I have changed the value in order to get rid of this trick I just I'm just going to multiply by three on top uh, I don't want to put it here I'm going to put it on top so let's multiply and say three over one at the end so that this will cancel this I do the same thing here I multiply this two by three then I have to multiply by another three that's it so now I can get into my answer. So this tells me that the limit as x approaches zero of, well, this is one, okay? So I'm gonna break it down, two over seven, multiplied by sine three x over three x, multiplied by sine three x over three x, multiplied by nine over one. And that would give me, the limit as x approaches zero of two over seven times one times one times nine over one. There is no x left in the problem. So what is the value 
What is the limit as x approaches 0 of a constant? Who cares where x is going? <laughs> it is constant. It doesn't change. Therefore, my answer is just 2 over 7 times 1 times 1 times 9 over 7. And my answer is 18 over 7. If you learned something, give this video a like. Give it a share. And subscribe and make sure that you hit the notification bell why wouldn't you just do that don't stop learning those who stop learning have stopped living see you in the next video bye bye